Hi there, students. Some idioms with bird. The first one is not a dicky bird. Nothing at all. Or also not a word. Yeah, um, I've got no money at all. Not a dicky bird. Absolutely nothing. And then dicky bird, a word. I promise I won't say a dicky bird. Yeah, I haven't heard a dicky bird. Notice this phrase, a dicky bird, is Cockney rhyming slang for word. Dicky bird rhymes with word. I won't say a dicky bird. So either nothing at all. Yeah. Um, have you got? Have you got a any time? I'm sorry, not a dicky bird. Nothing at all. Not anything at all. Um, or not a word at all. I won't say a dicky bird. Informal. 2.5 to 3 in formality. Birds of a feather. Well, the full phrase is birds of a feather flock together. This means that um, birds of a feather are people who are similar. They've got similar tastes. They're similar uh, preferences. They've got similar opinions. I knew that they'd get on because John and Pete, they're birds of a feather. Yeah, they've got the same character. They like the same things. Yeah, um, if, if you go to this pub, you'll really like it because um, you, uh, all the people there, are they're birds of a feather, the same type of people. They like the same things. Yeah, um, uh, he's my best friend. We're birds of a feather. We are, there's very little that we don't actually agree on. So, birds of a feather, birds of a feather flock together for maybe even 4.5 in formality of a similar character. To eat like a bird. Okay, um, my mum's really worried about my uh, uh, little son because he eats like a bird. He doesn't eat very much. This has the idea of just a bird pecking at its food. Yeah, he just pecked at his food. Yeah, so to eat like a bird, to eat very little. Um, the way to stay thin, yeah, is to eat like a bird. If you look at me, I don't. I eat like a horse, which is the opposite. Yeah, but if you eat like a bird, then you only eat very small amounts. To eat like a bird, I think for informality. Okay. Um, Ah, the birds and the bees. Okay, um, this is sex education. Yeah, um, as a father, I need to speak to my kids about the birds and the bees. Well, n normally, when you go and tell your kids about the birds and the bees, they say, yes, dad, I already knew all of that. Yeah, so it's a euphemistic phrase for sex and reproduction. Yeah, um, okay, it's very important that people understand about the birds and the bees from a young age. Yeah, they understand where babies come from, how, how to get pregnant. Um, the birds and the bees is a, a euphemism. Yeah, it's a, a euphemism to talk about sex. Okay, so at, sc at school, I think they also should teach kids about the birds and the bees. But I think some parents are not happy about that. The birds and the bees, 4.5 informality. Okay, and the last one. Okay, a whirly bird. A whirly bird is a slang phrase for a helicopter. Yeah, because it goes round and round and round and it flies in the sky. So, a whirly bird. Yeah, they sent a whirly bird to uh, transport the patient to hospital. Um, Mountain Rescue sent a whirly bird to rescue the lost climber. Yeah, oh, look at that whirly bird up there. Well, there's a whirly bird that comes around here sometimes and it's annoying because it makes a lot of noise. OK, so a whirly bird. Yeah, a, a helicopter. Yeah, and nothing more. So that was quite easy, wasn't it? If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. So birds of a feather. Yeah. Um, not a dicky bird. Don't say a dicky bird. 
um, to eat like a bird or to eat like a horse. Teach your kids about the birds and the bees, please, and a whirly bird. <laughs>